Turn your radio down. Turn your radio down. I don't want to say I'm fine as hell, but I'm fine as hell. I could have anyone if I really wanted to. He knows that I like Gucci, Prada, Balenciaga, and things like that. I'm literally telling you, I can have anyone, and you are not stopping any show over here. There's no sins as long as they're permission. And if I'm trapping you, I'm trapping myself in a relationship that I don't want to be. Then I don't want to be trapped in something. I want it to be willing. I know my sex is good, but why would I want somebody to show up at my MVP game when I'm getting my award when I can have somebody who's in the gym shooting with me? All I've ever known is a hookup app to find love. I want what others have. I want my forever. I don't want what's convenient. That's where I'm at in life right now. I get that. Like, for real. And I feel like it's just, yeah, man. So the question I have for you is, how do dating apps or hookup apps affect intimacy or relationships? They affect it heavily because people, even to what I just said, people want convenience. They want love. Like, at least in my experience, I just feel like when it comes to dating and dating apps, at least in the LGBTQ community, as someone who identifies as bisexual but has only really only had, like, gay experiences it comes off as like greedy and dating apps make people feel as if they have ownership of you because they see you on an app or they want to get to know you but then they really don't they just want to get to know your body they just want to get to know what you can provide or how you can make them feel without actually having to connect with them or to them on an emotional level and dating apps really play a big part in that because of the availability of people. Dating apps and hookups can happen in an instant where real intimacy takes real work and time and effort. People aren't ready to do that. Like They're willing to see who has the bigger penis, who has the bigger ass, who has a nicer body. But when they interact with those people, they realize like you have nothing to offer me, but money but a face a body or an aesthetic where for me for example like i don't have the best body i don't have the biggest penis i don't have the fattest ass but what i do offer is true intimacy unconditional love and understanding of people generally because i want to not even just look past you and your and your flaws but i would look past your your I look past your past. I look past your trauma because I recognize like you are more than just what you offer in this current moment. I can see that you are trying. I can see that you're better than that. And people aren't ready to receive that because all they're used to receiving are people who want to just use them for their body, use them for what they can provide for them, use them for what they can get out of somebody something versus actually trying to put in the effort. Or dating apps, for example, have been like used to find, I would say, even a sugar daddy or a sugar mama or someone who can provide money for me because I need $200 to get my car fixed or I need $500 to go on this trip and I'll have to do a suck your dick or give you some ass or give, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like a dating apps have ruined to me, what real intimacy and what real relationships could look like because people are only looking at what they can get out of someone versus like what they can actually offer someone outside of just sex. And people use it as what they use them for. Like people use them for, um, some people use them for sex. Some people use it for intimacy. Some people use it to find a gym partner and things like that. But I really feel like, at least in the, in the gay community especially, like people use them for hookups or people use them to find someone who can give them what they can't give themselves. And it's, it is disheartening because, again, when you come across somebody like myself who's willing to put, like, yeah, I use the app for hookups for sure sometimes, but eight out of ten times, it's more than that to me because if I'm hooking up with you, I understand the energy that's connected to that. I understand that sex is an energy exchange and it's more than just a a moment in time it's an energetical transfer i want my forever i want my partner i would love to date somebody who understands like i'm more than just a hookup but with that being said it's kind of sad because i feel like that's all i've ever known is a hookup app to find love 
I haven't found love in person. And not saying that I haven't tried. I definitely have. It's just when you get on that app, it's just easier to find somebody to help you bust a quick nut and then hope that they're willing to put in the work or put in the effort, but they aren't even emotionally incapable because all they know is sex. All they know is whatever they, they're used to, using people for money, using people for what they have versus actually trying to intimately get to know somebody outside of what they can offer somebody. How would you define intimacy? I would define intimacy as being vulnerable and not putting pressure on yourself or putting pressure on anyone else to be vulnerable with you. Um, Intimacy is a level of trust, a level of understanding of someone, uh, a level of protection, a level of unconditional favor that some people aren't used to receiving. Intimacy is is love in itself. Well, the definition different facets. Well, the definition I have here is intimacy is defined as close fami- close familiarity or friendship um, or just closeness. Now, let me ask you: When you have sex or when you hook up, are you able to? Well, first let's start with how the exchange happens. Are you texting with full words, or do you just abbreviate? Well, when I'm communicating, um, I use full words eight out of ten times. Like I might use like a WID sometimes, but it's never. I don't know how to really answer that. Because... Like, do you start the conversation? Like, say if you like, okay, you you're scrolling, you're swiping on the apps or whatever, and you come across someone that strikes your interest and you want to start the conversation with them. When do you initiate the conversation, or do you wait until the other person? approaches you if i see something that i like i usually hit them up but they don't respond because i don't offer i guess on my profiles that i've had it's been i've given people who i am up front um i've told people who i am i've said to people like yes this is me i do this i don't say say what i do but I am the, I get full text. I get full storylines. I tell you who I am and how I am and why I am the way that I am. And I tell people that I'm more than just a hookup. Like, yes, it's nice to, you know, be intimate because that's what I'm on the app for. At least when I get on a dating app like Jack or whatever, it's eight out of 10 times to find a hookup because I'm horny in the moment. But even when I'm looking back on certain conversations, it's not, it's more than just the up for me because like I said, I'm looking for forever. I'm looking for my partner. I'm not looking for just a, a, a time waste. I'm not looking for a placeholder. I'm looking for someone who I can build an empire with. And that's not what those apps are offering. They're offering quickness, availability. They're offering the world to people without actually offering them the world. They're offering them a facade of what could be. And then when you find somebody who's genuine, you don't know how to interact with them because you realize this person actually is a good person. And so you're quick to dismiss them because you aren't ready to acknowledge realness because you aren't used to finding someone who's willing to be loving, willing to compromise, who's forgiving, who's willing to love you unconditionally and to open themselves up to be vulnerable with you. Is that what you've done? With other people? No, I'm asking because you're, you're saying that you do this, you do that. So are you speaking for the other person or are you saying that this is what you personally experienced that you've done yourself? This is what I've experienced and done myself. Like I offer unconditional, I offer forgiveness, intimacy. I offer me as a person. So you're saying that, but the other person doesn't appreciate that? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Are you saying that they said that they didn't appreciate these things or are you just saying that I did this and we're not together? So clearly you didn't appreciate those things. The latter, because the person would not be. So actually, I'll give a story. So I met a young gentleman one time off an app. I thought that this person could potentially be my forever because of our energetic flow. We work very well together, but because... I was more in tune with how we operate, and he wasn't. He was scared of the intimacy that I was offering. All he was used to was being used by people. He was used to having to prove himself to people and prove his worth, and he's not used to being himself with anyone. He's used to putting on a facade and a mask. Over the course of the time that we were together or intimate with each other, 
it came off as if I was pressuring him into something that I really wasn't. When I communicated to him multiple times that if I'm trapping you, I'm trapping myself in a relationship that I don't want to be trapped in. I don't want to be trapped in something. I want it to be willing, wanted. I don't want to force it. But when you're opening yourself up to someone, being intimate and vulnerable with that person, and they are not used to being vulnerable with anyone else because literally all they know is I'm going to hook up with this guy because he could give me $600. He could give me eight grand because he knows that I want this and he knows that I want this. He knows that I like Gucci, Prada, Balenciaga, and things like that. But me, who's a working individual who does not have six trust funds waiting to spend on someone else when I don't want to give that. If I'm going to date somebody, I'm going to date them for them, not date them for their money. That's what I have come across is that people on these apps are looking for ways to come up. They're looking for their ways to use people. And that's kind of ruined dating for me because I don't offer anyone a come up. I offer real. I don't offer anyone a way to use this money to spend on you. My money is my money. You're used to people who've already been there, done that. And because you are avoiding your accountability, your part in it, you're avoiding what could be and what could work for us, what could be great for both of us. But you're used to people not knowing what they want and lacking their own emotional intelligence and being intimate and being this person that is really like great for you because all you know is hurt. All you know is pain, drama, toxicity, how to be hot and cold with someone without having to be intimate and using their weakness for your benefit to push them away because when they start to really be vulnerable with you, you don't know how to react to it because you know that they want something more with you. But because you know they want something more, you don't want to put in the effort to put in that work to give them something more. So instead, you'll do everything possible to push them away from you. And that's been my experience in dating, especially on dating apps. So at this point, I've kind of given up on the, on the whole thing of dating, especially being someone who is neurodivergent like people like i don't want to say i'm fine as hell but i'm fine as hell i could have anyone if i really wanted to but if i'm choosing you over others i'm literally telling you i can have anyone and you are not stopping any show over here and but i tell you to your face i want you but you push me away because you know that With me wanting you, that takes work. That takes time. That takes accountability. That takes you actually opening up to me. That way I can feel safe with you. You can feel safe with me. And that way I can be your protector. I can be your bodyguard. I will hold you down no matter what. That's what people aren't used to doing because dating apps, again, give you quickness. They give you what you want in that moment, but they don't give you forever. I offer forever. I give forever. I don't give in the moment. Are you, like, coming to the gate, though, like, with I'm trying to spend forever with you, like, right off the jump? Is that no. what? Okay. No, because I also know that if I heard that on the other end, I would also be very scared of that, too. Like, how can you tell me you love me you don't even know me? How can you tell me you want to build forever me and you don't even know my past traumas? You don't know what I've been through. You don't know where I'm going. When I don't tell people that immediately because I understand what that's like being told on the end. But my mindset is getting to that place of building that empire with somebody. You want, you operate this way, I operate this way. But that does not mean that we cannot work together, that I don't want to put in that time. I see when I go into it, I don't go into it thinking that this will be a forever thing. But I know I'm trying to build a forever. I'm going to tell you that if we go on a date and I say hello to somebody, so I'm going to tell you, I know this person because at one point we did hook up, but we're no longer like that. But I'm not going to act fake to them because they never did me dirty. They never gave me SCD. They never, we just didn't talk anymore because our, our plans and our motives have changed. I'm going to say hi to them, but I'm going to tell you to your face that that's who that is because I don't want you out here looking stupid because that's not something that I ever want. I don't want to be out in this world looking stupid being played in my face saying, oh, yeah, you did this, you did that, when that was never the case to begin with. So, no, do I go into it thinking about forever? No, but I'm never going to 
not think about a possibility. Because whoever I do hook up with, I understand that there could be a potential possibility of X, Y, and Z. Not all of them are like that. Some of them are really just quickness, but not all of them are like that, no. Do you think that the apps make us see one another as being disposable? Yes. Have you treated guys like they were disposable? No. I've never treated guys like they're disposable. Never. Because I understand that we're all human and we all have different experiences, which is why I never give off an energy of this is just a hookup. This is what it is. Because again, like I said, if you're entering my space, you're entering my body, I'm entering your body. It's a, it's a mutual understanding of what could potentially be. Again, I understand the energetic exchange of what sex is. It's not just a, a nut. It's not just an orgasm. It's more than just that. But other guys don't look at it like that. They look at it as a, this is just a moment in time. This is just an experience. I'm glad I had this experience. I'm moving on. Because... The last person I was talking to treated me like I was disposable, like because I didn't provide for him money. I didn't give him I didn't give him five hundred dollars to get his car fixed. I didn't I didn't give him an experience of of a desire of something more. I didn't give him the keys to the kingdom immediately. Because to me, giving the keys to the kingdom means that I have to trust you with my life. And I don't trust just anyone with my life. I have trust issues. So I don't just trust anyone, but if I'm opening myself up to you, I'm opening myself up to you more than just this moment in time. I'm opening myself up to you for a potential forever. But that doesn't happen often because not everyone is able to understand or or able to bring that in or, or receive that and accept that. Are you saying that they're not able to receive that based on your perception of their actions or have they said with their words, I'm not able to receive this or I can't receive this from you. Both. But it's mainly their action because I was told one time that I only date one person at a time. Only have, When I'm dating one person, I only have sex with that one person at a time. But then you say that, but your actions are sh- clearly showing me that you have sex with other people while dating one person. Or you have other options outside of me when I'm more than just an option. I'm the best option. Because I offer more than just sex. I offer intimacy. I offer vulnerability. I offer comfort. I offer safety. But to some, safety means being financially secure to be able to provide for myself and you. But you're not willing to put in that same effort and responsibility because you're used to using people for what it is, either for a phallus, for their penis, or using them for their money, or using them for whatever. Whereas me, I offer that and more. Would you say that you're jaded towards guys or towards no. dating because of the apps? I mean, I actually, let me not say that so quickly. I say no. I said no because I don't think I'm jaded. But looking back on it, I might be because, again, my experience has been that I haven't felt appreciated whenever I've dated anyone. I've only been looked at as a phallus. I've never been looked at as a whole human, which is why... I also say I'm kind of over dating altogether because I offer more than just this. I'm great at what I do. I'm great at sex, but I offer more than just that. And the last person I dated kind of ruined dating for me. I can't even lie about that anymore. And I shan't lie about that anymore. The last person I dated was, yes, that person was younger than me. Yes, that person had a little bit more going for themselves than I did, but not necessarily because all they know is money. All they know is financial security. All they know is, is what can you do for me and not what can I do for you or what can we do for each other or can I feel safe with you because they think that what they thought or what they heard about me from others is not necessarily true. When I've told you who I am, but because you let other people into your ear without understanding the full story and these people don't even know me the way they think, they infiltrate your mindset to make you think that I'm doing X, Y, and Z, when in fact, all I wanted to do was love you. All I ever wanted to do was take care of you. All I ever wanted to do was provide for you, make you feel safe and comfortable in understanding that you're going to go through hard times, go through financial struggles, your emotional ups and downs. You're going to grieve. You're going to be celebrated, be loved. And I wanted to love you for it all because love is not defined on what you can do for me. Love is defined by how you make me feel, how I make you feel, and the balance of, of both of those things. And he ruined dating for me. 
I'm not jaded towards dating or jaded, jaded towards guys, but I poured my all into him because I felt like I could see myself with him forever. And I did. I still am in love with him. I still have love for him. But am I in love with him? I know I just said that, but am I still in love with him? No, because he's, sh- I mean, I know what I said before, <laughs> but it's kind of like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, do I have love for you? Yeah. Did I start to fall in love with you? Yeah. But I also know that to, for me to be in love, I wasn't there yet. I can see myself growing in love with you, but am I in love with you? Fully no. But do I still have love for you? Yeah. Do I still care about you? Yeah. Do I want to see myself with you? Yes. But do you give me what I need right now? Do you provide for me? Do you show up for me? Do you even check in on me? Do you provide me with opportunities to show you that I love you? And you don't. And he didn't. And that hurt me. That hurt me a lot because I was showing up for him in ways that I never showed up for myself. I never showed up for my other friends. I showed up for him better than I showed up for myself.